every one of you. Because all of you people are stupid. And I told you, white trash, shut your mouth. Or I will go down there and beat your ass. Do you understand me? Oh, always the gentleman. <laughs> I don't know if we should have Eric Cross get beat up before his title match tonight. I know. You know. I know you people notice that I do not have my IWO World Heavyweight title. Why is that, Mr. Cross? I will tell you why. What's in that briefcase? You in this briefcase right here, brother? Yes. That briefcase. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, as we open the briefcase and reveal to you. I don't even know what side is the right <laughs> way. <laughs> I, the I noticed. Here in IWO, the new IWO heavyweight champion. Wow. It's so shiny. He has such an ego, he needs to get his own belt. Wow. Goodness gracious. We're right here at Chino, and it's time to shine. Just another member of the Tradition is Everything faction. Is that what they're calling themselves now? They are called Tradition is Everything. Awesome. Crowd getting a little riled up there, too. I know you people are here to see me whoop Paul London's ass tonight. I'm sure there are some people in the crowd that beg to differ that. The best and only the best. Oh boy! Oh, here we go again. I know. Wow, what a what a night already, and we we've only been going for about five minutes. I don't know. They panic so much when it gets dark. Uh oh. Well, now you know why. Whoa! It's a bird. It's, it's a, a plane. <laughs> it's Paul. Lo I think it's Paul London. It is. It's Paul London. Hey, not tonight, Paul. That seems to be his M.O. Every time the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'm very stupid. That's why I wear them. I will see both of you clowns later. I'm sick of talking. I'm sure you people are tired of hearing people talk. So let's get out of the wrestling. I like the way Paul on the thinks. Yeah, let, let's, let's get going. I owe you both a date. That will happen later on tonight in our main event, Paul London versus Eric Cross for the IWO World Heavyweight and, Championship. And the heat between the two of them has been building for a little while, so this should prove to be a, uh, a good main event. And truly, Eric Cross's biggest challenge of his career. Yeah. For those of you who are not born in the 80s, London Fog used to be the whip. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start you off. He's only voted the sexiest referee because I am not refing tonight. I kind of figured but, so. But needless to say, a fantastic referee nonetheless, Mario, here for our opening contest, triple threat action here. Well, and what a way to get started, triple Absolutely. threat action. Wow. And listen oh, to the music. <laughs> only one person, or one team, I should oh, say, can yeah. come out to this mid-90s one-hit wonder. Exactly. I'm just going to sit back and, and listen to and these. enjoy the music. These girls, I mean boys, sing.
There is Jeremy Buck. All right. One half of TNA's Generation Me. Kicking things off tonight, getting this crowd on its feet. And again, what a way to get started. Absolutely. Last month, Jeremy Buck came within eyelashes of becoming the IWO World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. But a little handful of tights let Aaron Cross, Aaron Cross be victorious. So Jeremy is here to get back on the winning ways, as right. he is also used to. And we'll see. His competition is going to be uh, tough tonight. Absolutely. And out comes Simon Lotto, a man trying to really make a name for himself here in the IWL, was victorious last show against Joke, and wants to continue a little streak that he has, what better way to do it? Then off of one, one half of one of the best tag teams in TNA. And Simon Lotto, you're right. He's He is trying to make a name for himself. He's uh, been on the circuit for about three years now. And so he's, you know, hitting his stride, I'm sure, and, and trying to, you know, climb the ladder and... Absolutely. And what a way to what a way to go by wrestling uh, uh, one half of TNA's uh, Generation Me. That's right. That's one way to get yourself on the map. Oh, yeah. But there's still one more entrant. After all, it is a triple threat. All right. There's Steven Andrews. Now he comes from Orange County, is that right? I believe so, OC yes. OC Wrestling, okay. Yes, the high flying sensation. This guy's been out of the picture for a little while, but he's back. He's back with a vengeance. He's got he's got a little bit of a new attitude. Same high flying abilities. Yep. And, and he's got brand new tights. A lot of energy. <laughs> brand new tights. A lot of energy too. Yes. I think he could definitely be a wild card here because yeah. he has the drive that Simon Lotto has but can match speed with Jeremy Buck. Yeah. Well, and you know, I'm thinking of this from Jeremy Buck's position. He's He's kind of the top guy right now, and he's got these two hungry, hungry up-and-comers who would give anything to take him down. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, Jeremy Buck's got a big bullseye on his back tonight. Hey, it's all about survival of the fittest. Exactly. Well, we'll see if uh, who, who comes out on top on this one. All right, so it's a stroke play match. There we go. brought his own cheering section today. That can only help him even more. Oh, yeah. And here we go. We are kicking off IWO Crossfire with this triple threat match. Jeremy Buck, Stephen Andrews, and Simon Lotto. Let's see how this gets started. <laughs> Treating him like he's a little boy in this match. I think that's going to make him angry. I don't, I don't blame him for getting yeah. angry. I mean, just because he's the shortest man there. And probably the youngest. Oh, but here we go. Ooh, 
Nice. Oh. Very nice. Oh, double. nice reversal there. This way is the high blind sensation. All right. Quick corona. Flying Whoa. elbow. Oh, he's a wall and of fire. Again. Wow, Drop you kick. weren't kidding about those high flying uh, abilities there. Not at all. Simon Lotto's out of the ring. Now he's going to concentrate on Jeremy Buck. Again, smart thing to do if he wants to make a name for himself. Oh, look at that. A modified Bronco Buster. Wow. And he's oh. right back up. Jeez. I would already be out of breath. Well, I know. He's got a, he's got enough energy for, for three people in the ring. Simon Lowe still trying to recover. A couple right hands well, up by know, Steven Andrews. He might, be, I was oh. saying, he might be playing it safe, letting these two guys wear themselves out while he takes a breather outside. Smart strategy there. Absolutely. Smart strategy. Oh, he's going to fly! Whoa! Oh, my goodness! Not only did he take down Stephen Adams, oh Lotto, I think he, he took, took down, down the down curtain. <laughs> he did. <laughs> True insanity here at the Insane Wrestling League. Already. Match number one, and everything is out of control. We just got started. <laughs> oh, wait oh, a minute. Hands on see, feet. Yeah. Oh, look and at that agility. Again. Oh, kick in the face. Jeez, he's like a cat. Keeps landing on his feet. Oh! Whoa. Split-legged oh moonsault. Back on the floor again. Mario's got to get some control in this. we got to get some people in the ring here. I know. See, man, just goes and throws. If for no other reason than the over. camera. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we are streaming live on Justin.tv here. Glad you are with us. And now, where where did Jeremy Buck go? Is he biding his time outside? Yeah, kind of waiting to see what happens. Oh, wow. he turned him inside out with that clothesline. Yeah, wow. Oh, and, and took out Jeremy as and well. Jeremy, see, that time outside the ring made the difference for him. He's fresh. That's right, Samalato. He's ready to go. Yeah, see, he's playing it, playing it smart. Samalato now in control of this match. And the best way to take out Stephen Andrews is to keep him on the ground. Yeah, because he seems to be most comfortable in the air. Absolutely. See, now it's at Simon Lotto's base. Now it's at the base yeah. that he specializes in. Right. Oh, a oh. back chop. Oh, ow. And a running senton. Yeah. And here comes Jeremy and, Buck. And, and oh, again. and back out again. You know, he's smart. He doesn't. He's not letting him get a foothold on the apron there. That's right. As soon as he gets gets near, he he's back down. So. That, that, that's a big strategy to do well, in a triple threat match. You know, I, I'm really liking Simon Lotto in this match. Oh! He's playing it smart. He's he's thinking two steps ahead. But he took too much time, and now Jeremy Buck is laying, I agree. laying a butt woman on him with some right hands. And the momentum has shifted. Reversal. Buck oh. flies! Are we... Oh, oh and a kick oh. to the side of the head. And up and over... There we go. Oh, oh, what a kick. And now and he's, he's going. Okay, covered. he's going One, to the pin. Two. two. And no, broken up by Stephen Andrews. He wants he wants to be the one. He wants to win. All and right. Now. So how are you guys doing the there? Hey, DJ's here. John Finally. John. So what's up, guys? Eh, go away. Go away. <laughs> I will just shut your microphone. Remember that. <laughs> oh, but a kick in the stomach. All right. Oh, oh what a wow. Ball. But he looks like he kind of landed on his head. Looks like he kind of took himself out there. A but little bit, yeah. He's shaking it off a little bit. That's the art of high risk. Oh! Wow, he's nice really going to feel that One, tomorrow morning. Two! Oh, and Simon wow. somehow kicks out. Nice. What, Simon, and this on their opening contest. This is crazy for the opening contest. I can't believe it. The crowd is cr going crazy. Absolutely. Well, these guys are putting it all on the line. They, they, they know how important a victory here is, especially right. with the caliber of opponents we have here. Right. Oh, exactly. What oh, a move by Simon Lotto. A win for Lotto or Andrews just this boosts one, their career. Two, no. No. Wow. What happened there? I thought he had it. Oh, oh knee. big knee to the throat, chest, oh, oh, wow. 